In this video I'll show you how to connect and print pictures using your Canon Selfie CP1300 with a computer, could be Mac or PC. So the first step is obviously to turn on the Canon printer, then you'll need to press the Wi-Fi button here, press it once, and in this menu you need to make sure that the Wi-Fi is enabled, so go up and press OK to enable it. Here we have two options via Wi-Fi network or direct connection. In this video I'll show you with direct connection because it's faster and easier to set up. So once you've selected it, simply press OK. And here you can set up a password if you don't want somebody else printing wirelessly on your printer. I don't have anyone around so I'll just turn it off. Then it will take just a few seconds and it will give you the Wi-Fi name of the printer itself. Here it's CP1300 and another number. On your computer open the Wi-Fi settings where all the uh, networks are displayed and you should see appearing your printer in the list. So here it is CP1300. It's the same as on the screen that the printer has. So connect to it like this. It's the same again on a Mac computer at this point. It can take even 30-40 seconds and then it will be connected like this. Next step is a bit different if you have a PC or a Mac. I'll show you first with the PC and then with the Mac. So click on the lower left side on the Windows logo and go in settings. Then from here you need to go to devices, click on it. And then select printers and scanners. From here you need to add the printer by clicking the plus icon. It will take a few seconds, it will search for it. And uh, the name should appear right there. Here we go. Canon Selfie CP1300. Click on it. And then add device. After a few seconds, the printer will be finally connected to your PC. Now let me show you on your Mac. Go on the top left corner and select System Preferences. Then on this display, you need to select printers and scanners. And then on this page, we need to add the new printer. So what we'll do is to click on the plus symbol over there. Then you should have this list with all the printers and you should see Canon Selfie CP1300. Here it's 1500 because I made this video with my 1500, but it's the same with the 1300. Click on it. And then the last step is just to click the add button over here. Now it's time to print a picture. So find a picture on your computer, whatever it is. Open the picture like this. Make sure it's what you want to print. And then just press, keep press control and then P. On the Mac you need to keep press Command and then P and you'll have this dialog opening up. You'll see here, make sure that it's Canon Selfie CP1300, if not selected from the list. Then you'll have many settings below this. You can change the orientation, like in this case the picture doesn't fit the frame, so I'll just select Portrait and this way it will take the full uh, photo paper. You can decide how many copies of this picture you want to print. Under paper tray, I suggest you don't touch anything. Paper size is very important. If you're printing on 4x6, so the paper that came included with your printer, then you should select the first option, Japan Hagaki Postcard. Uh, if you're not sure and you bought some new paper, while well, it's very easy, on the box itself it should say, you see, postcard size. This way you're sure. Uh, that you select the right format. So I'll just click on this. Paper type, uh, you have to choose between plain paper and photo paper. I prefer choosing photo paper because this is what it is, you know, it's photo paper made by Canon. Photo size, you need to play with different settings if you want borders. I'll just give you an example. Now it's full page, it takes the full page, but let's say if I choose this option, you see I'll have um, some borders and you can play with this if you choose a smaller version you'll have bigger borders 
it really depends on your preference. Uh, there is no right answer. I just prefer without borders, so I'll leave it full page. The other options over here, page margin, I suggest you don't touch this, just leave it to normal. Same with fit, you know, don't touch this. It won't affect the final quality of the picture at all. Now, before pressing the print button, make sure that the paper tray is loaded on your printer. And then when you're ready, press print. It will take a few seconds. You'll see on the screen of the printer, it will get busy. It means that it's receiving the picture to print. I have speed up the video because it takes about a minute to print a picture. And we're finally done. Don't forget to remove the small borders. This is made to be removed simply by bending the paper both ways and it falls down. I hope it was useful. If so, please check the affiliate Amazon links in the description down below. Leave a like, also leave a comment and I'll see you in the next one.